Hello and welcome back to the bar. Now for today's video I've managed to get my hands on one of the most sought after drinks in the entire UK. In fact, you can't even find it within a 50 mile radius of a high school because teenagers can sense it like Luke sensing Darth Vader. It is of course, Prime. I'm really shit at transitions, just leave it alone. Now I've got six flavours here, one of which we only have the energy can of, one of which we only got the hydration bottle of, but it's fine, we'll make do. But for today's video, we're going to focus on blue raspberry because I have to imagine it's the most popular flavour. So, without further ado, let's get drunk. Blue raspberry as a flavour is a very difficult flavour to work with because it's artificial, it's, it doesn't derive from any real form of raspberry. In fact, according to an article from Bon Appetit, now I might misquote this, a common justification is that it comes from a real form of blue raspberry which is known as a white bark raspberry, something along those lines. But the problem with that argument is that those raspberries are not anywhere near the level of blue that you usually see in like ices and slushies and things like that, or even in blue raspberry sweets. So we're just gonna have to work with what we got. Now, I've not even actually tried these, so before we do anything else, I wanna try them. It doesn't smell how I expected it to smell. There's definitely blue raspberry in there, but it's not. It's not that immediately like chemical hit you normally get from blue raspberry. It's also not got the really chemically blue, nor does that one. I didn't even smell that one. It's, it smells the same. That one actually. The energy smells a little bit sweeter, so. It's weird, I wouldn't say it tastes like blue raspberry, or at least not the blue raspberry that I am used to tasting. It's more akin to, you definitely get a blueberry flavor from it. But it's more akin to something that's normally labeled like wild berry or summer fruits even. I imagine the energy will taste much the same. Weirdly enough, despite take, uh, smelling sweeter, this actually had, the energy has a bit more of a tangy kind of bitterness to it. Now, like I already said, blue raspberry is a very difficult flavour to work with, so instead of trying to find something to pair with it, I've devised a cocktail that's a bit more plays into the flavour that's already there. So for this, we're basically going to make a Long Island iced tea, but swap out the Coke for Blue Raspberry Prime. So for that, you're of course going to need Tequila, of which I have the cheapest bottom shelf crap available. London Dry Gin. I've gone with Gordon's, but you could go with uh, Bush Eater. Bush Eater? Doesn't sound right. Beef Eater. My brain just stopped. Um, you're also going to need rum, which Bacardi, because why not? And instead of just using a normal vodka, I've decided to go with a blue raspberry vodka to try and bring out a little bit more blue raspberry flavour, which actually, now that I've tasted these, really could go either way. And lastly, blue curacao, or curacao. I meant to Google that before I started. I always say curacao, it might be curacao. Who knows? I believe in a Long Island iced tea, it's typically triple sec used, but I decided we're going blue we might as well go the whole nine miles. And lastly, you're gonna need a sour mix, which is very simple. It's simple syrup with lemon and lime juice. Now, 
I've really made a mess of this. Let me move these out of the way. Now, because we're using gin, we're not gonna shake the cocktail because gin's quite delicate. Um, so if you shake it, you can bruise it and you can lose all those beautiful top notes, which we don't wanna do. So we're gonna get rid of the shaker. And instead, we're just gonna make the cocktail in the glass. Let me get rid of them. Of which we're gonna use some highball glasses. I don't have any nice looking highball glasses. These will do. So to start with, you are gonna do half an ounce of all of our liquors. Of course, you can use more or less. It's a Long Island iced tea. As long as the, um, as long as the volume of the liquors stay the same as each other, you'll be fine. I didn't know that came off. I'm using half an ounce because I don't wanna get entirely smashed drinking these. Of course, we spill it everywhere. That's why we have the bar mats. And we'll just pour it into the can as well. I'm really doing well with this one. Oh, manage that one the best way, yeah? You can get it better. I blame the Bacardi bottle. I always spill Bacardi. And now this is where we're going to get that blue colour from. Especially seeing as the uh, Blue Raspberry Prime doesn't have anywhere near the level of blue that I expected. Look at that. Beautiful. I just love blue in drinks. It always is it's just so much fun. Oh, I can't even blue lagoon with this. Man, that's fucking boring. Now I'm hoping, because my blue curacao is not a particularly strong blue colour. It's also welded itself shell. Um, and the reason for that is because it's not actually blue curacao, it's triple sec that I've dyed blue because the shop had sold out of Blue Crescent when I bought this. So, we make do. Either way, it's an orange liqueur, it's fine. And lastly, half an ounce of our sour mix, which is sticky, so try not to spill too much of this. And I was slightly worried that the sour mix would retaint the blue, but it actually hasn't. It's Made it a little bit cloudy, which is not necessarily a bad thing. <coughs> Fuck me. Yeah, that'll kill a man. Jesus Christ. Now, of course, for a Long Island iced tea, you're going to want to ice it. I've lost my ice scoop, so... Sue me. I'm the only one drinking that. Now, of course, while well, we stir it, actually. I think it's do that. And then lastly, we're going to top with the blue raspberry prime. And I'll tell you what, even if it's going to kill me because of the fucking strength of it, it does look beautiful. That does look very nice, actually. One last stir, uh, just to make sure all of that's mixed together. And that when I sip it, it won't just be a mouthful of alcohol. Well, I mean, it's going to be. There's two and a half shots or two and a half ounces of alcohol in this. I've just noticed this while editing, but my jigger in this video is in fact not a half ounce and an ounce measurements. It is two ounces and a one ounce measurement. So all of my measurements in this video are off because I thought I was using a half ounce. I was actually using an ounce, meaning this drink has five ounces of alcohol not for uh, two and a half that's my own stupidity sorry now I am, I am actually a little bit scared although weirdly enough you doesn't smell like alcohol at all i've never had a long island iced tea i don't know if that's common for a long island iced tea i assume it must be just given the sheer amount of alcohol in it it must be some in some way or another, there must be like a counterbalance effect where the alcohol like cancels each other out. But who knows? That's really weird. Because there's definitely an alcohol flavour to it and the blue raspberry works very nicely. Like a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. There is definitely an alcohol flavour. The only thing I'm really properly tasting is this tequila. 
and that's because I know the flavour of this tequila because it tastes fucking awful. Because I think it was about £15. But I don't drink tequila, so I'm not going to waste money on some expensive tequila. Maybe I'll make it again in the future once I've, you know, got the money for expensive tequila. I was expecting to like this one more, but I actually think this one works nicer. I'm normally, I will normally pick a carbonated drink over a non-carbonated drink, but in this case, because this one is just a little bit sweeter, it really pushes the, the alcohol back a little bit more. So just, you don't get quite a harsh, quite such a harsh, harsh taste out of it. It wouldn't necessarily be my drink of choice, but if you want to get drunk, Go for it. Now, I'm gonna go drink this and this. But before I go, remember, always drink responsibly and more importantly, do as I say, not as I do. Cheers.